just got this in the post today. Fleek 113, true RMS. It's very basic. I uh, we're really interested in this to be honest. But if you wait, something comes up on eBay that you can't refuse and this won't come up. I think I paid 27 quid for it. And that's not including post though, it was about £2.90 extra on post, which is pretty good, less than 30 quid. So worth a look, and I'm quite surprised really, very good. Got the usual, well, it ain't got the usual actually, it's pretty basic, but it does volts AC and DC through the volt check, which is pretty handy. It's, it automatically switches between AC and DC. Which is handy. <laughs> Obviously, diode and continuity mode, ohms and capacitance. So, when you think about it, even though it looks basic, it's got pretty much everything you need bolts, diode, continuity, capacitance, and resistance. The only thing I did notice with the resistance is that it only goes up to 47 kilo ohms, I think. I mean, the uh, reading of the ohms only goes up to... Let me just get the, my board. So just to demonstrate what I was on about, we've got it on to 47k there, and it's making a reading. You go to 100k, and it's over limit. So it's restricted in that capacity. Let's just draw capacitance. So we're talking about capacity. So there's a 100 microfarad, and that's at one, two, three. So close enough. We'll just test this on this potentiometer as well. Oh, uh, can't really tell off that, so never mind. I think that's all I wanted to show you on that. So let's have a little look inside of it. There ain't much protection inside of it, to be honest, so it's a bit limited in that way as well. Got a little backlight on it though. Min, max, range. All in all, a good meter for cheap, just a chuck in your bag for testing voltages. Well, it's good for an electrician, really. The battery on these, as usual, just one screw, and it pulls off, and the battery's in the back. Two other screws, and you should be able to pull it apart pretty easy. That's a quick look inside. Not a lot going on, no big fuses. I hate these things, these, these, these always snap off. Don't know what's under there around the look and ain't gonna do neither. The old style cheap buzzer. I imagine the screen's just compression fit under there, so that's really easy to get to. That's it. Put it back together.